BVB Total im Doppelpass mit der Telekom. Hello and good evening everybody. Welcome to our press conference after this crazy match. I think uh, based on the good experience of yesterday we're going to do the press conference in English language. So if you have any questions feel free to ask now. Uh, what do you think when uh, all went uh, to Noah? Not much, to be honest. I was just, uh, yeah, the 3-0 was uh, the moment where, yeah, where I thought, hey, okay, now it's going to be a long, long way uh, back because uh, the crowd was enthusiastic. That uh, They had an enormous shot from 35 meters, so kind of this goal where you think outside, okay, does anybody want now that... Uh, Everything happens for them, or or and we had already, I think, a shot at the bar and and big big chances that we missed. And so we had to, yeah, we had to uh, deal with it even on the bench and even uh, my team. And after the three nil, we we lost our formation on the pitch a bit and we lost our good passing and. We were impressed, of course. Uh, everything else was would would uh, would not tell the truth, and uh, we were impressed on the bench. We were impressed on the field, and we had a long way back. And the three-one helped us to um, to come back and to give us confidence. And second half was an excellent half, excellent half from our team, spectacular half, and uh, in common a spectacular game. Of course, if you if you win after after you're zero nil down. It's a great, great compliment to my team. Great compliment to the opponents. They, they, yeah, did an excellent job, and it was very, very hard to come back. And yeah, we, we deserved to win. I think we deserved even to win higher, and that's what uh, we take from this game. Any further questions? Uh, were you shocked or uh, surprised? No, not surprised, but we were not ready. R that's that's obvious. Uh, we were not ready on the pitch. We were not ready to defend the long balls. We were not ready to defend the the, the upcoming uh, midfielders from odd. We were not ready. We had our problems. We had um, good confidence in passing. We had totally control. They were standing deep, defending deep, and and had uh, difficult counter attacks. Not so sure if if for a second goal it's perhaps a, a foul for f uh, at Mats Hummels. So perhaps you can can blow the whistle and then it's off and it's now second goal. But if you concede second goal and then from a from a free kick a third goal, yeah, of course, then l then the latest everybody is impressed. But to be honest, I had the feeling that we are not ready. I do not know why, but perhaps uh, I gave the team the feeling that it's all about passing or whatever and possessing, but we were not ready for the for for the physical game and we had to fight back and and I'm very very proud that we fought back and that we stepped up and and we we proved character and uh, very happy with the reaction and and the constitution that we played the 17 minutes after the third goal. What did you say to James in uh, half time? Yeah, I don't. I don't want to tell, but but uh, we calmed them down and and we changed little um, little positioning and uh, we we built them up and and we trusted them and uh, everything. We we knew that we will we we can uh, put the speed up and and keep the speed high and we knew that there will come the time where things open up, spaces open up if we if we. If we uh, um, if we can hold the pressure and if we can hold the speed and if we can uh, make them do choices and defense and um, yeah, if we trust in our game and we wanted to win in half time definitely. Did you underestimate all today? No, no way. Not me. Not my team. I, I and and not 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 we as coaches never and. Um, We were surprised and uh, no, not surprised. We were not ready for it. I don't know why, but uh, it was it was not like, I mean, we had in the first minute even a shot at the crossbar. So it was kind of th three shots, three, three goals. So it was uh, it was Murphy's law uh, yeah, for, for us. So in the first 20 minutes, yeah, what can go wrong went wrong. So sometimes it's like this but uh, we did not we did not uh, believe in 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 uh, in uh, 
practice and, and we did not believe in destiny so we stepped up and we kept our heads up and uh, we fought back and we stepped back and that's the that's the main point for me in my in in my resume uh, which players impressed you the most from all I have to tell you, I don't want to be impolite, but it's it's very very hard for me after a game to to say anything about uh, the other players. If you let me watch the video, I can tell you. If you come to Dortmund, I can tell you something about uh, the opponents. In, in this, I'm I'm so totally into my team, totally coaching my team. We should ask my assistant coach. He's he's more into the opponents and my analyzing coach. But for me, they. Of course, we we knew what's uh, we we knew how it is to play against Olivier Ocean. We we know it from Bundesliga. We knew that the uh, the the two high midfielders the, uh, will follow the long balls. We knew that um, Bentley is a strong left foot in in counter attacks. Uh, we knew that your young guy on the on the line is, is strong in dribbling and dribbling and confident. We knew all this, and uh, yeah, sometimes you can't you can't. Uh, you can't uh, keep the things from happening. Eh? You can't hold them. Had you ever heard about Paul before this? Before before the draw? Yeah. No, to be honest, not. But uh, the, this does not. You can't you can't put it on the same line that we underestimated. We did not know anything about Odd before the draw. After the draw, we s we we uh, would say that we know a lot about them and we watch them and analyze them. But still. Are you qualified for the group stage? No, we're at half time. We're, uh, we learned our lesson from today. If we did not, it um, would be a very, very bad sign. So, um, no, it's, it's soccer, you know, and it's 90 minutes and anything can happen. And uh, But we feel confident to, to win the second match as well. And we play for winning, for winning and we play for creating chances and uh, big chances. And... This is our mission, and um, mission is completed for for today. We we got a lot of chances. We we got a lot of goals. We we had a spectacular match, and yeah, we will be ready to play now on Sunday in Bundesliga, and we will be ready, be sure, to play on Thursday with our, our best performance, and we will be ready to to score again, and we want to score and we want to win. Yeah, we want to put win after win after win, and we're on our way, and the next steps have to follow. Last question for tonight, Felix Meininger. In English also? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think oh, we go We can try in German. Uh, <laughs> but we have to make sure that everybody understands. So okay, so in English, no in problem. English. Um, Castro had to play on the right uh, side of the defending line today. Um, he's not used to it and you put him out after 45 minutes. Um, what went wrong with his... Um so, <laughs> with his... <laughs> performance. performance yeah. yeah what went wrong first of all we thought we could use him as a as a strong passer as a um, um on the line as a, seemingly as a midfielder he played he played the position several times as the talent too he played for leverkusen in important match and uh, important matches Normally we wanted to play with Mats Hummels uh, uh, f first half and, and uh, Socrates second half. Wanted to change them in 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 order of um, their Belastungssteuerung, <laughs> and <laughs> and um, yeah. When I saw uh, saw our problems and saw our physical problems in first half. Um, it was obvious that Mats had to stay as a captain. He had to stay as the skipper. Uh, he had to stay on the on the field. It's obvious that we need Papa in the center, and uh, it was obvious that we need uh, height and and uh, strength and in, in heading on the side. And so we put Mats on the side, and yeah, Gonzo had to leave the the pitch. I don't want to point the finger to him and to make him uh, responsible for, for what happened. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this uh, with, a, with the exchange, but we had to change. We needed, we needed Papa on the pitch. And the um, fact is that, that Matze made a very, very good second half on the, on the right side as defender. I'm very happy with his performance and like in the late 45 minutes. And uh, yeah, Gonzo has to step up and keep his head high and go on and work hard. 
thank you for joining us. A big thank you to our oppo opponent to, uh, for hosting us and to all the guys here in the city. Uh, very nice. And we come back for sure. And we see you next week in Dortmund. Bye-bye. <laughs>